winter has its perks. You get to wear cozy sweaters. It's the perfect excuse to drink copious amounts of hot chocolate. Snow days. But winter also has its downfalls, mainly that it's cold. And it's cold. And let's not forget that it's cold. But not to fear, I have some winter home hacks that are going to keep you as snug as a bug in a rug. Which honestly, what the heck does that mean? Like, why is the bug in a rug? And if a bug was in a rug, would it really be snug? I really got a lot of questions about this. Now the first thing that you should do when the cold weather comes around is seal up any drafts in your house. It's going to keep the cold out and the warm in. Using a candle, you can walk around the perimeter of your house on a day that has some good wind in the air, and you can easily find any drafty spots whenever the candle flickers. Other places that you might find drafts is around any piping, and in this case, you could just use some cloth to close up those drafts. My next hack is to invest in a space heater because you can place them near to wherever you're sort of hanging out, warm up the air around you without having to jack up the heat in the entire floor. So there's three things that I look for when I'm buying a space heater because buying the right space heater is pretty important when it comes to this hack. Mine is the new air portable ceramic space heater. In case you're interested, I will have a link to this in the description. But the first thing that you wanna make sure that yours has is some safety features. You wanna make sure that it has a anti-tip shutoff feature and you want to make sure that the casing of your space heater is cool to the touch. This means that it is safe for your pets or if you have children. The next thing that I look for is sort of the design and size of space heaters. So my new air one that you can see here is only about 13 and a half by 13 and a half inches. And going off of that, you definitely don't want a space heater that's going to be noisy. So that's the third thing that I look for as well. You don't want it to be clunky and noisy. You kind of want it just to warm up the space and you like don't even know that it's there. Using a space heater will keep you toasty, warm, and comfortable without breaking the bank. All right, let's talk about tackling the dry air when it comes to the winter. That dry air can really wreak havoc on your skin. So the first thing you can do is just make a DIY humidifier with a pot of water, place it on your stove, and put it on a low setting. It'll slowly heat the water, and the water will slowly evaporate into the air, humidifying the air and your house. You can even get fancy with this if you want and throw some aromatic in there, throw in some essential oils or a little bit of lemon and a cinnamon stick and you get your house smelling really great too. A few other ways that you can humidify your house during this dry season is to consider leaving your door open after you take a shower in the bathroom, let all the steam escape into your house. Another great tip is to keep house plants. Plants are actually always releasing moisture into the air, something called transpiration and your middle school science teacher is literally giggling, I told you so right now. While we're on the topic, of sunlight, my next tip is to take advantage of sunlight. Know how the sun passes over your house and at what parts of the day you get good direct sunlight coming into your house. So essentially what you want to do is capture the heat from the sun. When sun is coming directly into your windows, you want to open up all of your shades, let the sun come in and naturally help to heat up your house. And as soon as the sun has passed over those windows, you want to close up those shades to help keep the heat in. Definitely don't underestimate how much you can warm up a space just by using sunlight. Once again, I feel like there's a middle school science teacher right now who's like, told ya. All right, my next hack is to take advantage of electric blankets. They get nice and toasty warm. Even if you have the heat on in your house, often furniture will kind of hold on to the cold. So take your electric blanket and spread it out over your sofa and turn it on, you know, 10 or 15 minutes before you're going to sit down. It'll warm up the entire sofa and make it nice and toasty and cozy. Another good trick for your electric blanket is to warm up your clothes in the morning. Just throw your clothes out on the blanket and turn it on about 15 to 20 minutes before you're going to get dressed and then your clothes will be toasty warm like you just pulled them out of the dryer. My next hack is not to underestimate the power of just some simple layers. Layers are key because even if you're using lots of thin layers, the air between each layer actually acts as an insulator as well. Because it's close to your body, each pocket of air between each layer is actually going to warm up to your body heat as well. So by adding just one extra layer, you're really adding two layers because you're getting that layer of air that's going to warm up as well and extra insulate your body. 
Okay, for this next DIY, we are going to make a DIY draft stopper. If you have any doors in your houses that have a little gap underneath, you can either let a lot of cold air in or let some of your hot air out. You can buy a draft stopper, but you could actually make a DIY one with stuff you probably have hanging around your house. All you need is two of the tubes from inside of wrapping paper, which you probably have this time of year, and then you just need an old pair of pantyhose or tights. Taking your pantyhose, just cut off one leg, and then you're gonna feed the two cardboard tubes into the pantyhose and then you can use this simply to slide underneath the door. You'll have one tube on the outside of the door, one tube on the inside, and this will act as a draft stopper preventing cold air from coming in or hot air from escaping underneath your door jam. But that does it for these winter home hacks for helping you keep more toasty and warm in your home. Really quick, if you're not already following me on Instagram, you can do that right here. But as always, thank you so much for stopping by and watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and I will see you all in my next video. Are you getting your close up? You're beautiful. Are you gonna show everyone how pretty you are? Oh, that's beautiful.